So apparently there is beef within the fashion community out here in Los Angeles with two of the biggest resale stores, Second Street and Cool Kicks. They're both stores that sell sneakers, high-end clothing, this and that, where you can basically take your own clothes, they buy it, and then they resell it in their store. So I, can, I opened Instagram this morning and then I seen that Second Street posted something that looked like an apology note and I'm like, all right, I gotta dive deep into this. And apparently they're saying that the owner of the store right across the street, Cool Kicks, went in, was mocking the employees, tried to sell them fake sneakers, and just basically made a YouTube video bashing their store. And if you see, these are really bad fake sneakers too. But I'm gonna get into it and react to the video and see really what they're talking about. What does this line say, Mookie? We wanna read it for the people. Read this. Authorize Second Street to dispose of any item if I do not return purchase within seven days from today. You said they gave you seven hours. Literally seven hours. I want everybody to see this. That's sick. We should put this in the beginning of the video. So the moral of this whole video right now, I don't ever bash people, but for this video, since we sent the millions of customers from all of our videos promoting them, saying go to Second Street, go to Second Street. That's crazy. For you guys to do this and your policy clearly says seven days, I'm extremely frustrated. <laughs> it's unethical. So to anybody that ever comes to Melrose or goes to any of their stores, do not shop there anymore. I'll let you so the vibe I'm getting, I guess he took shoes and that they disposed of them throughout the day. I I, I need to get more. You guys more see the rest this. of the video and you guys can see the whole process. But literally, yeah, like never street. go to Second Street again. Uh, we're, we are very disappointed in what you guys did. On, basically, scammed us. You be, yes, yeah, so basically, we've been on your local neighbors, your friendly homies we for, them, for years. We your business. So y'all business. We tell everyone when we don't buy shoes, we say go to Second Street. They might hold you down. We try to get the business. Now they shot you in the back like that. So more of the no, story. No. No, no. Second Street scammed us. You never shop at Second Street again. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. This is a very sad one. Experience like uh, they told me, yo, bro, if you're trying to sell something, you gotta wait like three hours. I don't know, like maybe check out somewhere else. I was like, oh, I'm gonna go hit Cool Kick right across the street. And you pulled up. You got cashed out instantly. Got out. No issues. You got paid market value. I didn't even pay for parking. The thing was 30 minutes. Look, in and out. Bingo. So the amount of people that we send there, and I know you guys see the comments. First thing I see bro saying that if you go to his store that it's easy that you go in, take sneakers and pop out. Because I've been to Second Street and you wait hours and hours to sell your clothes. But it makes sense because at there they sell multiple types of clothing. They have like hundreds of different brands. Versus if you go to Cool Kicks, you're going to see Nikes, maybe Adidas and one other type of sneaker. Of course, they can like legit check it, buy the sneakers, you get out because you don't have to check through like tags of like an acne studios hoodie then rick owens pants and then john paul gautier glasses so there's a comments every single day go to second street go to second street go to second street we probably gave them millions and millions of uh, new vi visitors so where are so, they? so second street is literally across the street it says buy sell second hand clothes accessories and whatever so, so today's episode as you guys know our entire cool kick series of us cashing out uh, businesses we're about to pull up the Second Street right now and just cash out. I don't know how much we're about to spend. I don't know what they even have. I've never even been to Second Street, but I know we send them a lot of business. So we're about to go to... It's funny guys, seeing in the Second Street post, bro, it's like, I've never been to Second Street. But then they said like, oh, he's been here multiple times. Street. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash the like button, comment down below. If you Smash the like button the and comment down below. Out. I don't know what to expect. We might not even get a video out of this. I don't know what they sell. All I know is Rami and Frankie and everyone that works at Cold Cakes always is like, go to Second Street. Go to Second Street. How are you guys? We're your neighbors from Cold Cake. Hello. So we're shooting a video, so in a lot of our videos, we always send you guys people. I don't know if you guys know this. We can't take it, take it to Second Street. Bingo, see, he, he's heard it. So a part of this video is we want to come cash out today and hopefully buy some stuff. And then promote you guys at the same time. So how long okay. have you guys been in business? 2018. Oh wow, uh, yeah. so how does this yeah. business work? So would you, people could come and sell you guys shoes and clothes? Yeah, so we buy a little bit of everything. Uh, we can take shoes, bags, clothing, some accessories like jewelry. Are uh, oh, you guys take jewelry? We're not able to take in like silver or gold, so just like selling. I think it's funny that they're beefing because they're like in com two completely different ends of the spectrum. Because one store sells sneakers and then the other store sells actual clothes. Is what we oh wow! Yeah. And then for shoes, you guys take shoes with boxes, without boxes, new, used, everything. 
everything, yeah. So it could be with box, without box, so it could be used or I see some knockers right there. So 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 let's just say I'm a customer, right? And I come in with these. What would you how how what would you offer me? So we look at resale price, see like what they're selling like on eBay, Grails, uh, some other websites like that. And then we'll try to determine what would sell for us and what's uh offer like twenty to thirty percent. That's your margin? Yeah. And you guys just pay out cash or you guys do cash, store credit? Yeah. Just cash only. All right, so let's go check out their collection. They just, but are these the shoes that you guys just bought? Yeah, we just bought them in today. I sent this person. Oh really? <laughs> so if y'all want to give me some commission. All right, so we're in Second Street. Y'all want to give me collect. commission, bro? Wait a minute, these must be. Wait, did everybody watch this video? These must be the shoes that Frankie and Rami pass on. Look at these. Wait a minute, how much is this? So you're going to a secondhand store where they sell used clothing, and you're making comments that the clothing is used. Okay, got it. $100 for nine and a half. What do you guys think? Cup or drop? Nine and a half. Drop. So let's go through this. Some of the. Wait, Yo, a, that's minute. For me. I don't wear Wait a minute. $80? Wait, to everyone watching this video, I'm going to go through their selection to see what they have. Wait. You guys tell me. That's what I want. How much do you think this is? Comment down below to everyone watching this video. How much do you think this is? 100 I need to give them words of advice on the shoe market. Wait a minute. These are bricks. Wait, bro. I'm not even going to look at the tag. Did bro say these are bricks? I mean. Not everybody is a sneakerhead, so some people will buy these shoes because they genuinely like them and they genuinely think, hey, I want to wear black and blue shoes. Not like, oh my God, they're bricks. I'm never going to wear these. It's just a mindset that bro's like, oh, they're bricks. Who's going to wear these sneakers? Like someone that likes them. Yeah, bro. but look at this. Y'all might not buy them at your store, but someone else will wear them. them. $80? No way. Wait, I gotta, who's the manager? Who's the manager? You're the manager? I gotta, I gotta have a talk with them. My words of advice to them. No, nah, not the prices. I, how often do these sell for you guys? Um, honestly, this isn't my store, so I don't know. Bro, this is silly because you're going into a like a big retail conglomerate store. I know Second Street has like hundreds of stores, and Bro owns maybe like two stores. Like, I, and I think Bro from Cool Kicks has one in LA and then one in Vegas, if I'm not mistaken. That's like. If you own a little market, a farmer's market, and you walk into Ralph's and you're like, hey, who's pricing these vegetables, man? Like, bro, I don't know, the CEO that's in Wisconsin or whatever it may be, like, you're not gonna get your question that you want, bro. Just here for the for day. Answer. But I might have to make a video at your store, at, too. At my store? Come out to Sherman Oaks. But no, at my store, um, we sell, like, pretty often, honestly. And the way that we price things at my store, at least, is we price things based on how we think that it would sell in our store. Sick. Yeah, that's crazy. At least prices. I can get you guys better quality uh, stuff if you guys want me to help supply you guys. <laughs> and for cheaper, I might just have to be the plug for Second Street because I can get all this thing half off. Let's see what else they got. What? Wait, what are these? I don't know why I'm cringing, what are bro. These? So we're going through this collection. This video is supposed to be us cashing out, but honestly, I want to give them shoes. So I might go to Cool Kicks after this and just. I think the video is instead of us buying a st uh, store out, we might just have to supply this store, and we're gonna bring some. We're gonna go across the street right after this and sell them some shoes. And I want to see how much they give us. I hope y'all enjoying this video. We're just gonna show you all some of the stuff they have, but it's like it's literally just Brick Central, Bricks, Bricks. Like, I bro said Brick Central, but bro, the thing is that you're not going to a sneaker store. I understand if you y'all want to beef within the sneaker community, this and that, but you're going to a clothing store, bro where people don't necessarily care about the sneaker market in whatever mindset world that you're in, bro. Like, brick, brick, brick. Yes, but people go that just are into fashion, are into clothes, bro. It's not about, like, who got the newest Jordans, who got the, the Snake i 4s or whatever it may be. Like, yeah, bro, bro some kid might want to go in here and buy these Pumas for $23 because they like Pumas, and that's what they can afford. That's why you go to a secondhand store and that's not why everybody is going to a sneaker store to go buy resell Jordan 1s for $300. Like at that point like it doesn't even make sense. Where would There's you no like? There's no way someone's buying that. Like what are they paying? 30 bucks? I just don't see it. Yes bro because some, some people can't have diamond chains and go spend $300 at your store to go buy a pair of Jordan 11s. Uh, how much are Vans brand new in the store now? 40, 50? Yeah I think I'm gonna have to talk to their ownership and that's be their suppliers. Bro, they're gonna talk to the owner. This is a company from Japan that came into the U.S. So, bro's like making a big deal for nothing. They have some Adidas right here. You know what's confusing me right now? Rami and Frankie and everyone that films at our store sends people to Second Street so many times. 
but none of these shoes they sell, they're selling, they don't come to our store. So I'm, I'm curious of where the shoes are going. Very, very disappointed in the shoe selection. I thought they were gonna have so much heat, like good shit. Like they got like, uh, none of the stuff to carry I would even buy. Who's the buyer today? So I guess he's where I buy all my Jeremy Scotts. Who's the buyer today? We have a few buyers. If I brought like some shoes, how, like, any way I can get an instant quote, they're all real coming from us. I'm just getting some content out of it. Yeah. Like five shoes? Just have a few people ahead of me. They've been getting up already. So how long does it usually take? I'm going to see pictures. Yeah. Um, I guess a little over 10 people. So Whoa. Two hours, yeah. And you guys pay cash or check? Uh, cash or check. There's a pay on the other. And is there a limit? Like if I brought you like five, ten thousand dollars worth of shoes? There's no limit. You can just bring it in. So we just drop it off and then we can, you guys just reach out to us or we just come yeah, back we'll, in two hours? we'll call you back when it's ready. It's usually before 8 o'clock. What's the lowest? I need that. 1100. What is that? 140? 150 down? Yeah, it's like 140. Hey, they're cooking, they're cooking us over here. Oh, no. Really? I, hey, I heard they so fakes. Be careful. That's what Frankie said. Be careful. Hey, yo. Be careful. I'm, about to, I'm about to sell them. Bro, why would you... I, I don't know. This, this is like making me cringe. It's making me a little uncomfortable. Bro, I, I heard they sell fakes. In front of the employees, bro. These fools are making like $20 an hour. I, why are you going to go in and make them uncomfortable and be like, yo, they sell fakes. Like, I understand you're trying to talk your shit, whatever, and you want to do this and that. But like... You're not gonna get the answers you want. Why are y'all pricing this like this? Who's in charge here? Like, bro, you're just talking to the employees. You're not going up to the corporation. Ten shoes in. I want to see what they offer us. Oh, bet. All right, bet. Uh, I'll be back. I'm gonna drop off ten shoes for sure, and then use a two-hour wait. Yeah, about. Perfect. I'll be back in five minutes. Anything in particular you guys looking for? Are Jordans cool? Yeah, you can move it. Perfect. Yeah. All right, so we're headed back to Cool Case right now. We, we, so I, I I didn't see this video, so I'm wondering like why is he? I, I guess they started it with that clip of like taking the shoes after seven days or something. And I know because I've been to Second Street, you know, you have to take the clothes, shoes, whatever it may be that you have to sell, right? You're gonna go sell sunglasses. If you don't go pick up your clothes, then they donate it and they tell you that like, hey, if you don't come pick up your clothes, we're gonna donate it. So I, I'm assuming he has something to do. Trying with to that. buy something from here, but we didn't get uh, lucky. Um, so we're about to, um, Frankie's saying, uh, Rami and Frankie are saying they sell fakes, but, um, uh, we're about to head to Cool Kicks right now. And I'm not going to lie to you guys, stores like Second Street, Wasteland, Crossroads, resale stores, I put them all within the same category, right? They do sell fakes sometimes. You can go take something and it's going to slip through the cracks and someone who works there might not know if your Rick Owen shorts are real or not. I, example, I went to the Second Street in Long Beach one time. I bought a pair of Rick shorts and they ended up being fake. And I was like, damn. So I went back, I said, yo, y'all sold me fake Rick shorts, what's up? So they gave me my money back and they're like, yeah, you know, we're sorry, we're just gonna donate them back. But at that point, it's like, if you're into fashion or sneakers or whatever it may be, if you're going to go spend $500 on a Rick Owens jacket or a Bape hoodie, whatever it may be, at least know a little about what you're going to buy. No, I mean, and I do feel it, you know, at the end of the day, they should get up their security on buying fakes, this and that. But as a consumer and as a customer, you should also know what you're going in to buy and what do you want. You know, you're not just going to go spend $1,000 on a new bag, a Margella bag, and not check if it's real or fake, you know? I mean, at the end of the day, too, you know, as, as long as stores like this, like Second Street, Cool Kicks, whatever it may be, if y'all have a policy where you could go take back whatever it is, if it was fake, then it's good. And then they take the loss for buying the fake clothes. Grabbing five ten shoes and I want to see what they quote us. Yo, Second Street has the worst selection of shoes in history. Yeah, I'm talking about you send them all the stuff we. Oh, bro, you went to somewhere that's not a sneaker store and they got a not a good sneaker store selection. No wait, really? No way, bro. I went to McDonald's and and they didn't have a good selection of tacos, bro. They didn't have a good selection of desserts. Oh my god, bro, no. I went to Del Taco and I got a burger and it wasn't good? No! No, oh, it's, it's worse than that. Those shoes don't even come to the store, bro. It, it's like fucking, it's like Jordan 13s that are like a 3 out of 10 condition. Some people don't care about Jordan 13s, bro. Some people just want to wear shoes and are into fashion. 
Because there's second chance that was like the worst couple of snacks I've ever seen. I thought they were going to have decent shit. You didn't buy them? There was nothing to buy. They were worth <laughs> they're, they're, when I, I felt so bad that I'm about to go sell them shoes. Take, take I don't know. Let's go take our breaks. breaks. Rami, bro, their shit is the sickest shit. The, the stuff you pass on, I don't think they even buy that. Yo, in the middle of watching the video, tell me why it just froze, and then I'm trying to go back to their channel, and the video is deleted. Bro, they deleted the video. Dude, I was just watching the video. And in the middle of the vid, in the middle of the video, it, my YouTube like stopped working, right? And then they they fucking deleted it. They deleted it. It's gone. It's gone. Well, because they sounded like idiots. They sounded like real bullies. Like that shit was not cool. I cringed through the whole video. That, I, that's what I was just saying. I was like, bro, like he he's making fun of the sneakers that they have, this and that. But you're not going to a sneaker store, bro. That like, that's like I say. I'm like, bro. You're not gonna go to a certain like Mexican restaurant and expect to get a good burger, you know? Like yeah. people aren't going because the Jordan 13 here are bricks, bro. Oh my God, that's crazy that in the middle of the reaction, my YouTube bugged out, it froze. I'm gonna show you guys. I go back to their page and the video is gone. So, so look, I, I'm not able to finish and see exactly what happened, but we're gonna go to the Second Street post that they have on their Instagram, and it says that he tried to sell fake sneakers, and it ended up, you guys see right here, the little screenshot from the video. So I'm gonna go through the comments, and I'm just gonna kinda see what side are people on, what's really happening, what is this beef even about? All right, so going to the comments, I'm just reading what people say, it doesn't really matter, y'all sell dirty used shoes with Cool Kicks prices. Yes, it's a used shoe store, so if you want to get brand new shoes, then you go to Nike, then you go to Jordan, you can go to StockX, you can go to Cool Kicks. Going down, basically Cool Kicks was trying to sell fakes and Second Street wasn't going for none of that and Cool Kicks got in their fields and tried to turn up, but that doesn't change the fact that they were fake pairs of shoes. That is true, that's crazy that bro is talking about Second Street and he's like, nah, they sell fakes, they sell fakes, why are y'all coming here? You seen bro on the phone earlier, that, that made me cringe, he's like, Hey man, I heard they sell fakes here. Right in front of the manager and the employees. And then you come and you give them fake sneakers, bro. I'm cringing at you, bro. No one gives a F real question. Why do I need my D to sell? Y'all, I drove 40 minutes for nothing. Bro, it's because of taxes. You're not going to go sell something. And how are you not going to have your ID? Like they obviously got to put it into the system for something, keep your name. Cause I, I what, from what I know is like when you sell a certain amount, like let's say you go and you make over 50,000 reselling the second street, you're going to have to pay taxes on that. And that's going to go to the IRS. All right. So like I'm on the cool kicks Instagram and it says they scammed cool kicks. Click here to watch. So I'm going on it right now. And it does say the owner of this video is going to actually sign in. So that means they deleted it in the middle of me filming this video, bro. That's crazy. Okay. But I do oh, see right here though, people made clips on Gen TikTok, Z, so I'm gonna out. check what it's up. Cool Kicks got scammed without knowing. Buying shoes, 675. ID? Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna be the one picking it up though, is that still fine? I'm gonna um, send one of my employees, cause I gotta leave. It has to be like the ID of, some, of the person that's gonna pick it up. I know it's complicated, I'm sorry. Bro. All right, I'll just do my ID. I'll come back later. So how long is this process? Um, right now we're looking about like two and a half, three hour wait. It's first come, first serve, so it's a drop off service. People bring in their stuff, they sign in with their ID and phone number, then they leave, do whatever they gotta do. We go through their stuff, first come, first serve basis, and then we give them a call when their estimate's ready, as long as they're back in store by the time we close, which is 8 p.m. every day. So we all get to receive the estimate, negotiate, and get cashed out. So, do you have my phone number? Yeah, I need it. Sign right here. It's just technology. And you guys will give us a cash yeah. offer, right? Yes. So one, two, three, four, five shoes. Yes. All right. So we'll see you guys in a couple hours. I'm the only one here that watches you guys' videos. You do? Yeah. That's good. Thanks, so, man. so, so, so. Aww. I mean, that's how slide you like 20. Just give us a good price. <laughs> it's not going to be me who's doing it, bro. Dang it. I'm sorry. So everybody watches this video. This guy is so uh, This, is, this, is, this is my first time in Second Street. I like how he keeps saying that. And I, I don't know, bro, right? I. Don't care, but Second Street said that he's come in multiple times into the store.
And I dead ass thought I was gonna walk in there. It was gonna be like a mini cool kick. I thought it was gonna have like shit that people actually want. Oh, be honest, you saw. It. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Maybe because you don't want the clothes doesn't mean that other people don't want it. I, I go to this store personally. I like the stuff. I've seen other people go, and there's a mean. There's a reason they're in business. They pay the rent, and they are off. off they are obviously profitable, bro. This is bad. Bro. Hey, that's worse than really I mean, Now that we're yes, yes, yes. but then I, I see. You know, I like you could just tell. By looking at these guys, like their outfits, just their demeanor, the, the way that they're speaking, they are not into fashion. They are into sneakers. And it is a completely different world. If you wanna go buy sneakers, go to a sneaker store. Like I've been saying, bro, like you're going to Second Street and a store that does not specialize in sneakers, trying to buy sneakers and making fun of what they have. For what reason, bro? Like, gonna walk in there, gonna be like a I'm gonna see if this account does have any other. Oh, I'm gonna look at the comments first off. I don't know why I didn't negotiate off a price on the spot. I'm assuming the staff just isn't knowledgeable. I mean, the thing is, is because, bro, you have 40 people going in a day to sell clothes, and sometimes people go in with bags and bags of items. If somebody comes in with 30 different Acne Studios hoodies, you know, we got some Margellas, we got some glasses, like, you can't just look at everything and be like, yep, here, 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 here. Like, bro, it takes time, and if you don't want to go through that process, then don't go. Go sell your stuff on Depop. Go sell it on Grill. Sell it on eBay if you want to do that. They did say in store before closing every day. They they did say, hey bro, like come back before we close. So I'm assuming maybe he didn't go back before they close. We just bought them right now. What happened? They threw all our shoes away. This fall, they gave, the policy says seven days, and they, they um, called me that same night. They said they're gonna donate them, but the policy says seven days. Second Street. If y'all ever send anyone to Second Street again, everyone's jobs online. Really? What happened over there? Two days ago, I took them shoes. Two, uh, that same day, they said they're gonna give us a quote within two hours. They call me 15 minutes before they close at 7.45. They say, if you don't come in 15 minutes, we're uh, uh, donating your shoes. I'm like, what? This is document, this says seven days. What does that, so what do you, read what, that, John, what does that say? I will try second street to dispose of items if I do not return to complete the purchase within seven days from today. So what does that mean? That means that you're authorizing second street to dispose of items. Within seven within, days. If you do not return to complete it's the purchase. It's been a day. Seven days. And they're trying to donate it. They already did. They, they don't, don't have, have it. it. They, they, and they're giving us they don't have a real thing. They said, oh yeah, we just updated our policy. This shit says seven days. We got it. They we, really did that? We got all the bro. I swear to God, bro, it's the slickest shit ever. Wait, no, what no show was it? How many pairs of shoes was it? Like four or five? Four or five. Oh, I'm about to call God. it. Rami knows too. They sell things. So when uh, Rami can't, no one can say second. Dang. They threw his shoes away. But y'all did see that last clip. The girl said, come back by the end of the day. Ever again, bro. It was two freaks up in here that was really bro, like just... blowing my shit. Germ, it's, it's wild, bro. Just wow, I'm gonna read the just comments. I'm gonna see right. what else is it. I wish I could have seen the full video, but they deleted it right then. They threw away your shoes to their friends' houses, aka stole. This is a lawsuit. Yeah, mmm. They said they called them 15 minutes before, okay. They did say in the video, come back before eight. I don't know, I'm, I'm on the fence about this one because this is a little iffy. And I did see, but, but I mean, there obviously has to be, I think more to this because Second Street did post that he took fake sneakers, but he didn't say nothing about that, that the sneakers were fake when he ended up going, right? And Second Street said that they're gonna sue him. So, I mean, if they're suing, I feel like they must know that they got something on their hands to to win or not. Nah, but all in all, it, it's crazy. I, I just think bro should not have went in with that disrespectful demeanor and be like, bro, y'all got bricks. Y'all don't got nothing. It's like, I, 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 I don't get it. I don't get what, what the point of that is. But Second Street throwing away the clothes or the shoes is a little crazy, not gonna lie. It is a little crazy, but they did tell him to go back within the seven, no, oh, within the day period. So I don't know, man. Honestly too, now that I'm really diving into it, like, Shout out to Second Street for standing on business, bro, because, you, I'm, you know what, M more so thinking, like, yeah, why, why are you going to let somebody come in, disrespect your employees, disrespect the store, and then still, they're trying to sell you fake shoes, and then they don't listen to the policy? Like, yeah, no, I, I think they were pretty much in the right for taking the shoes now. I'm like, it's 50-50, but nah. Shout out to Second Street for standing on business, bro. 
it just goes to show that nobody else can come through and just mess with the store like that, you know? And they better, like, fix up that recording policy, too, because I was cringing the whole time bro was in there recording the employees. And I've done videos at 2nd Street before, and it's been nothing like this. I'm gonna put y'all onto my 2nd Street short-form content right here. Alright, y'all, so today I'm gonna buy an employee whatever they want. We're at 2nd Street. It's, like, my favorite designer store, so let's go. Y'all, so there's an employee right here by the huh? corner. I'm gonna surprise him, and hopefully he's not, like, weirded out or he's down. Excuse me. Do you work here? Oh, yeah, I do. Um, well, I just want to say congratulations, bro. You just won. Um, you, you, you can buy anything you want in the store. You mean deadass? I mean deadass. You can buy anything you want. Oh, shit. Hold on. Let me clock out real quick. All right, so what are you looking to buy today? What do you want? What, what's the vibes looking like? Honestly, probably like a jacket or something. Hey, bro, you like these? Nah, bro. That's not the vibe. <laughs> okay, my, my bad, my bad. All right, so he said that he found the perfect piece, bro. Show it off. Why is this the vibes? What's going on? Yeah, so I mean, it's a hysterics piece. Um, I've honestly I wanted one since like, like a piece since I was like in middle school. So, so you never had a hysteric gallery piece? No. Yo, the first hysteric piece we're getting for bro. Yo, are you a little sick, bro? Are you okay? Yeah, I do got like a little cold. We gotta start like a GoFundMe, get bro some Pepto Please. or something. Yeah. All right, all, we just checked out. So technically, he can't like record while he's on the clock. His ten minute break is over. But here, bro, we checked it out. Have a good one. Thank you so much, bro. Bye. Alright y'all, so I'm hosting a raffle here at 2nd Street and the winner's about to get a free shopping spree. Alright, so the winner is 1881485. Woo! What's your name, bro? Jesus. Jesus? Alright, let's pop in, bro. Alright, bro, so how do you feel? I feel kind of nervous, not gonna lie. Why are you nervous for? I don't know. Alright, so, so what are you looking to buy today? Probably some Rick Owens or FTP or something like that. Okay, so Rick Owens and FTP, that's the goal, let's go. Yo, 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 bro, what are you looking at over here? Looking at some SV things, probably from my little cousin or something. Woo! Okay, shout out to the little cousin, bro, going crazy. All right, we just finished the shopping spree. How do you feel? Feel looking pretty good. Bro, he got a lot. I don't know if y'all can see, but he got, like, shoes for his mom. He got three pairs. He got shoes for his cousin. And then this is, like, a babe cooking kit. Like, what are you going to do with this, bro? Probably going to cook up for tomorrow. Yo, you going to have the Oh, for Father's Day, a little barbecue. Okay, go crazy, bro. What is your dream in life, and how old are you? I'm 18, and, like, probably going probably gonna to study right now. You're going you're gonna to study? What are you studying? I'm not sure. Probably going to take, like, a few classes. Okay, bro. Okay, bro. I want to say again, like always, follow your dreams. Go crazy. And anything is possible, bro. Have fun. Have a good day. Happy Father's Day. So there's this store in LA that I literally come shopping at every single week for the past, like, four to five years. Every time I come, it's the exact same security guard. He's been here since I've been, like, broke and just came to window shop. And now, you know, I just had a little conversation with him. He was like, yo, man, I watch your videos. Love what you do. So, we're gonna buy him some shoes. Alright, Matt, I wanna get you a pair of shoes. What size are you, or do you wanna just choose out a pair of shoes in the store? I see some right here. I, I think he literally knew what was happening, cause he's like, yo, the first pair of shoes right here, he wants them. Alright, y'all, we got bro the shoes. He's right there. Look at the big old smile on his face. Here you go, man. For sure. Thank you for securing Second Street Keep for all these the good years. Work. Support this gentleman. Thank you. He's real. Hallelujah. He's blessing me with these shoes, and I finna bless a child that's going to college right now and that's struggling. And That's beautiful. he's gonna get help, so he gave him to me. I'm definitely giving him to somebody else later on today. That's beautiful. So Pass I, it on. I, I, Thank sure. you, man. Sure. Just because of bro's demeanor and the way he's acting, I just don't like him. And I just don't like the way that you just come up to service workers and people who are just trying to do their job and come on in with the cameras, come on in mocking them, doing this, doing that. It's like, bro, we get it. You're a cool, successful business owner, but it's like, Look at the, the disconnect from reality at this point. Like, these people are trying to do their job, and you're out here being disrespectful, you're being rude, you're doing this, you're doing that. You're doing the most for no reason. And I've had my fair share of bad encounters with stores like this, like Second Street, where I go, I'll buy something fake. I'll take a pair of shoes that I'm like, oh, easily. I, I just took a jacket the other day, undercover jacket. It's worth $1,500. They offered me $40 on it. Was I disrespected? I was like, hell yeah, but at the end of the day, I'm gonna keep the jacket and move on with my life. I don't need to sell it. Like, I went, I tried to sell it, they didn't give me the money I wanted, boom, I came home, it doesn't matter. I'm not going in, making videos like, oh, they offered me $40, bro. Y'all don't come to Second Street no more. They're broke, like, what, what kind of demeanor is that? And especially when you have a YouTube channel with a million subscribers and kids are watching you, and it's just like, bro, this, this is not the type of personality that you wanna go on and show to the kids and people who are just, I don't know, trying to make something of themselves. Like, I, I would hate to go and be disrespectful to workers and then kids start going in and they follow in my footsteps and they're like, oh, Jared, Jared came in and was making fun of the second sheet worker, so it's cool. Like, bro, that's not cool. And I mean, yeah, I mean, just looking like real quick at these, the fashion, the outfits, whatever it may be, like, 
Bro, it's obviously a sneaker reseller. Like, look, these are whatever pants. I bet these shoes are like $10,000 or whatever. And then a black shirt. Like, bro, is obviously not into fashion, like the stuff that they have at Second Street, you know? And at the end of the day, too, I'm not saying that I'm the most fashionable person ever and that I have the degree to speak on these topics about who can do what and who can wear what and this and that. And y'all may not like my outfits, but at the end of the day, I'm comfortable. I like what I wear and I have a great time doing it. I love going to stores, finding clothes, doing this, doing that. But yeah, this is a crazy scenario. Y'all let me know what you think. Um, like, comment, subscribe, do all that. Bye.